In this video, I will talk about the practical equivalent circuit of an inductor. The inductors are not ideal. Associated with every inductor, there are resistor RL equal to the resistance of the turns and stray capacitance due to the capacitance between the turns of the coil. We express the stray capacitance with C and the resistance between the turns with RL. Now let me describe how do we get the stray capacitance C and the resistance between the turns RL. If you are familiar with the parallel plate capacitor, you will see we get the parallel plate capacitor by inserting a dielectric or insulating medium between two metal or conducting surface or conducting plates and as a dielectric we can use air wood rubber or any kind of insulating material that does not allow current pass through these metal plates okay or that does not allow current flow through this region now see this is our inductor and an inductor is nothing but it is made of twisted conducting wire for example I'm talking about twisted copper wire that means this will be a total copper wire and the stray capacitance C is the capacitance between two turns or the capacitance between turns this is a turn and this is a turn of the inductor as this inductor is made of copper therefore I can say that this turn will act like a metal Cu okay and this turn will act like a metal Cu and between two copper or metal you will see there will be an insulating medium air air does not permit current flow through it as we have insulating medium between two metallic surface therefore I can say there will be capacitance between the turns of the inductor and that capacitance is known as stray capacitance and in the equivalent circuit we will express that stray capacitance with C after that let me talk about how do we get the resistance RL in this inductor see resistance is defined as the opposition to current flow and we define the current flow by the amount of by the movement of electrons so I can use the term current flow and movement of electrons synonymously okay see this is a copper wire or twisted copper and as copper is a metal there is a tendency of the metals to leave their bal balance electrons and stay as positive ions our copper atoms will stay as Cu2 plus which is a positive ion therefore I can say that within this inductor I will get Cu2 plus ions everywhere in this inductor and while flowing through the inductor if anyhow the movement or the motion of the electrons gets obstructed I can say that there will be a resistance let's say I am forcing an electron to move from this terminal to this terminal of the inductor when you will see this electron will get into this point this positively charged copper ion will attract the electron towards it let's say somehow it overcome the attractive force of this Cu2 plus when it will get into this point you will see this Cu2 plus will attract it in this direction Th what I want to say is that along the total inductor our electron will be attracted by the positively charged copper ion therefore its smooth motion will hamper as our electrons cannot move through the 
inductor smoothly i can say that there is a resistance which opposes the which opposes the movement of electrons throughout this inductor and that resistance is expressed with rl and it is the resistance of the turns of the inductor so when i will draw the practical equivalent circuit of this inductor we will consider total three parameters the resistance rl of the inductor the inductance l and the stray capacitance c of this inductor so i can represent the inductor by using this equivalent circuit our inductor resistance and inductance will be in series and the stray capacitance will be in parallel with the series structure of resistance and inductance so this will be the practical equivalent circuit of an inductor in most of the applications the effect of stray capacitance is ignored therefore you will see the equivalent circuit of an inductor is simply represented by the series connection of the inductance l and the resistance of the turns r l in series so this is our equivalent circuit what could be the value of this r l the value of the r l could be some few ohms to few hundred ohms see if we increase the length of the inductor you will see the electrons will get attracted by the positively charged copper ions more so i can say that the longer the wire used in the construction of an inductor the greater will be the dc resistance r l and we measure the dc resistance or the inductance of the coil r l by using this formula r l will be equal to rho l by a this rho is the specific resistivity of the conducting wire and this l is the length of the wire that is twisted to make the inductor and this a is the cross sectional area of the wire okay that's it thank you